Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm you supposed to ask. to ask you again, what yeah. are you wearing? Yeah. Okay, what are you wearing? Okay, today I'm doing um, these little satin uh, mules that I found in the closet when we were clearing the closet out. And I have this fun little puffy skirt that, you know, it's fun to wear. It's still 100,000 degrees outside. Really into finding bigger t-shirts, ladies. So I'm really looking for a good one that I could buy. But for now, I've been stealing them out of um, our son's drawer. Because he has big like, t-shirts. Is that the only reason you're going into his drawer to take a t-shirt? Yeah, because I need a white t-shirt and he has big ones. And That's I'm amazing. feeling big. I want things a little bit bigger sleeves a little longer just a little looser i don't know that's what i'm feeling yeah. okay and then a little these are the best sweaters these are the men's um j crew cashmere sweaters i have them in all the colors the men's ones are the best because again i don't like the ladies sweaters because they're just cut really like i don't like it so i like just a big sweater and it's perfect all right and then i have our little suede micro charlie and burgundy and what's so great about this color is i find you could use it all year round, but you could keep it very neutral. So you could use a brown and then you could be the neutral person or you could just pop it. And that's what the genius is of the bag jewelry mat. It's just because this is not permanent, right? So you could add it, whatever you want. And I, 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 we actually purchased these so that when the burgundy suede comes in, that this could match the burgundy nice. suede. So I love this. I love it's the hot pink up. with the burgundy. I love pink and burgundy. I think it's so chic. And then I add a little crystal and I think it's fun. And then you could add more to this little clip, but basically the clip is awesome. And then you just keep adding charms to it. So that's what I have on today. And I think it's awesome. And I love these colors, right? It's so cute. And then I had the shoes to match. The shoes are so fun So today. anyways, that's what's going on. And that's it. It's Monday. Yep. And again, we're kind of tired, but not really. Super tired. You're super tired? Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't know what's going on. Just always Monday. I think there's a lot of chores this weekend. It's chores every day. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I don't know if it happens to you guys, but it's like Monday through Friday, we're just trying to get through life. And then Saturday and Sunday is supposed the to be for rest. Off. Right. Yeah. And then it's like replenishing the fridge, cleaning the fridge out of all the food that you bought from last week that you didn't eat. Yeah. And then, um, and like, we always have the best, this is my new thing. We never eat the leftovers. I always like, I'm like, oh, we'll make it for something. But it's just at the end of the week, we end up having to do this huge job of cleaning it all out. So I think, I don't know. That's been a bugaboo. We, we should just try to make smaller portions. And then yeah. if we have leftovers, they should be um, composted. Right. And then um, what else? That's it. That's what's going on. Finale on um, the Chimp Show. Was that the finale? Yeah. We don't have any more? That was the end. Oh. That was so good. It was really good. Yeah. And... It was, it was a semi-good ending, would you say? I mean, it's a good ending because he was rescued. Yeah. But... But, but yeah, the whole, it raises larger questions. Yeah, because it's weird. So, it's a question mark, right? So, when you do take these chimps into your home and you start bringing them up as a human, then they're kind of used to human ways, right? Like, they're used to be inside a shelter. And they're also used to, like, oh, here comes the cops are after me right now. <laughs> because we're talking about the chest. Yeah. And, um, and then it's pretty nice to them. Like, wave. It's like, hey, thanks for your service. That's what you're going to do. They're super helpful. They're awesome. Yeah. They're so cool. Um, uh, so, anyways, it's hard because so he's rescued. He's in this beautiful sanctuary. I don't know. He looked a little sad. I guess. But I think his, his environment was clearly a lot better. Than he has a lot more space to move basement. around. And but, then I think, if anything, be sad. It seems because he was brought—I don't know—but because he was brought up with people, yeah. right? That he's missing a little bit of that. Yeah. So they can give that back to him. They could have people visiting and yeah. be in a nicer place. Right. And he's a bit reclusive because I think if you're a thirty loner. years a loner, it's kind of hard to be around. Like I was thinking, like, what if I was brought up inside a house, and then suddenly they're like, "You got to go outside," and then you got to deal with the elements, like fleas and flies and all that jazz and you're like wait i've been inside this whole time and i'm eating people food and now i have to eat grass kind of weird yeah it should be so, a transition yeah and i think they try to, to have access to both inside and outside it's yeah. like so that's cool yeah but i think it's kind of tough so but he that individual chimp it seems might benefit from more human interaction yeah because he's so he, he and he's like, like a very uh gentle guy yeah you could tell yeah he's got that gentle personality but i think net net 
the the this the whole idea is yeah, no, let's not put champs in inside a home in the first place then yeah. he wouldn't be in that situation yeah they, they right. belong in the wild and that's what they should they're they should be that's and they shouldn't the vibe be I got off inside that. a home like who 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 should have one of those in their homes like yeah. nobody nobody they don't belong in a house so anyways right yeah, it just seems to benefit the person not the animal ever yeah yeah, yeah it's tough it's tough so of course i was feeling sorry for Tonka. Poor guy. And he's so cute. Well, Draw your own conclusions, obviously, but it was enter I like to know. entertaining no matter what. Yes, I like to know. It's, yeah. it's, it's interesting. And, and, and also it was interesting because usually they'll be like, oh, he's so happy in the sanctuary, right? But they didn't show any of that. They didn't say anything. So maybe they were feeling the same thing we were feeling a bit. They just showed know. him in the sanctuary and you can draw your own conclusions. But... But usually they make it so happy and like, yeah. you know, like, there he is. It comes down to editing too. Like maybe he had a bunch of happy times I didn't shoot. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, that was the end of that. And then we had the first episode of season four of Slow Horses, yes. but then you passed out. But it was really so good. So tired. So tired. But it's really good. Is it good? Yeah. Okay. We'll have to watch that. And then, um, so that's it. And then, oh, and then we got, we got deep into the Nicole Kidman show on Netflix. Oh, that was really good. That was really well done. You got done. me hooked on that one. Yeah, it was really well done. Yeah. Um, it was called Perfect Couple. And... <laughs> It is true. It's never what it looks like from the outside sometimes when you're like, oh, they have such a great life. Look at them. Never. In reality, it's always a struggle with everything, right? So anyways, it's just, that's real. That's, that's life. So anyways, when it's all perfect and everything is all perfect, there's something wrong, right? Yeah. Anyways, yeah. We are so not perfect, <laughs> but no. that's fine. It's fine. It's every day is kind of a struggle, right? Yeah. But it's good. You got. You have to have struggles, or else, life. You could not be moving forward and getting better. Well, so, the Buddhist came to the conclusion that life is fundamentally a struggle. That's right. And you, if the, the sooner you embrace that, the better you can have an attitude towards everything that you have to face. Yeah, I think the it's day. back to the surfing metaphor, right? It's like it's called keep effing moving, is what we're that's saying. Right. Now. That's our so thing. That's going to be our sign out now. You say hi guys and in the end we say hey keep effing moving <laughs> exactly. all right that well that's way. it right yep. um okay so that's what that's what's going on burgundy and um new always new fall stuff coming in in the next couple of weeks and you know all throughout the months and i think that that's what's so exciting yep. so anyhow onward. we'll see you tomorrow onward bye. keep effing moving that's it bye guys